Today, folks, I'm very happy to be bringing you Hot Toys, one six scale Captain America from Avengers Endgame. Uh, I know this figure came out about a year ago. Uh, wasn't really doing the Hot Toys thing then, but I have started again recently. So I just uh, picked this guy up and so glad I did. Uh, before I get going, I just want to mention real quick, a good friend of mine, Dave's Dimension, is doing a live stream, a 10-hour stream uh, to benefit Roswell Park uh, Cancer Institute. So he's giving away a bunch of prizes, uh, different wheels. Uh, there's a hot toy, actually this hot toy, not this one. This is mine. But he's giving away one of these uh, at the end of the day. I believe he said it was $5 to get on one wheel or $20 to get you on all the wheels. So I know he's already underway. I think he started at 12 o'clock Eastern time today. But if you're interested, pop over after this video to uh, Dave's Dimension and get involved with that live stream uh, for a good cause. So anyway, that's the box. I'm going to carefully try to set this down. I was going handheld, gorilla style. And the reason that we're all here, boom, Captain America, Steve Rogers. I'm going to keep him back there for now, guys. And I just want to show you, well, two of the accessories are on. We'll, we'll end with the shield and uh, Mjolnir. He comes with a bunch of stuff. Of course, your standard Hot Toys base. Captain America, he's got Avengers and the A, I think you can see it embossed on there, you know, crotch grabber. And then it does have a little felt, which is a nice on the bottom. So if you're prone to using dynamic stuff and you need a stand, of course, that's comes with every, every hot toy. Now you do get uh, two heads, <laughs> They're, well, one partial head. What they've done this time, what Hot Toys has done is done three different uh, face plates. So these unplugged, they're magnetized. So in here, as you can see, I've got the standard kind of Stoic Steve look. The other two, here's what the next one looks like. Let me focus camera. There we go. Slightly irritated Steve Rogers. Moving on to really irritated Steve Rogers. Now, I'm, full disclosure, these are a pain in the ass to get in there. <laughs> There's a little bit of a... Uh, a lip on the edge here that you can see that where the strap is where it connects to his existing uh, chin strap you've got to be just right with that thing to get it to uh, fit in there tight so it looks so the mask looks straight and it's not crooked you know his nose isn't sitting funny I had a hell of a time getting it in there I would love to change the head for you but I'm just not gonna do that but what I am gonna do is show you the alternate head sculpt that comes with it and couldn't be more happy than with this damn thing. I mean, that's, look at that, guys. It's Chris Evans in plastic form. I've had several different uh, Captain America hot toys in my time. I had the original First Avengers uh, outfit, sold that one. Had the uh, Age of Ultron cap, and sold that one when I cleared out all my hot toys years ago. But this one, by far, I think other people will agree. I've seen some other videos. This is the definitive uh, and probably the last version of this that we'll see in Hot Toys form. So if you're, you know, don't sleep on it is what I'm saying. You can still get them. The other shield, of course, it comes with the, the uh, full shield and you've got the broken piece as well. And it's this one exactly fits the way it was in the movie. Um, it's three pieces. So I'm not doing a very good job trying to reach around the camera. But so if you want to have him hold and it does have the... Uh, straps on the back. Now, different ways to do this, uh, to put his sh uh, shield on his arm. My way, I think, is the easiest is to take the, take the gripping hand and place it on the strap first, and then put the, um, you know, pop the other hand off, slide the arm through, and then peg it in. I think that seems to be the easiest way to put less stress. The other thing they did um, that I don't like, the one negative is the previous shields all fastened onto Cap's back. And right here, there was, uh, it was hidden in this, this buckle, but there was a magnet. So you could take the shield and then just click it on. Now they don't have that. Now they have a hook system where you have to disengage one of these hooks. And there's a little hook thing that hooks onto the back. And then it just, it clamps onto the back. I'll never have him wearing it on his back, but it's uh, just a minor little nitpick. But nonetheless, it's, it is there. But the real star of the show, of course, and I'm going to go gorilla style. Let me move some stuff out of the way, guys. Okay. Is the figure itself. So I'm going to move the camera back in my hand. 
bring him closer. Um, it's just dynamite. <laughs> That's all I can say. And this is how I have him standing right now on my shelf. Um, he's actually next to a So So Toys Gambit. The Mjolnir is made of plastic, so it's very lightweight, but his gripping hand does hold it pretty well. Um, you can see some details on the, on the hammer itself. And his costume is just, you know, spot on from the brand. And it is a split boot cut, so you do have the extra pivot in the ankle, which is nice. But you've got the, you know, the silver buckles leading up to the trousers. Not really America's ass. They don't, <laughs> but, but it's good that there's extra material. And this is a tough, almost like a canvas uh, material. But I'm not worried about it uh, stretching out or cracking or, or, or tearing because it really is solid. It, it, if anything, it may hinder the articulation a little bit. Um, moving on up, you got the backs, that same tough stuff there. There's that X-crossed uh, strap for his shield. There's cool little elbow pads on there. The Avengers logo. They got the little chain mail pattern, and of course, on the chest, too. Um, I like the colors. They're bright, but not too... He's a little dirty here as well. And I wish it would have been cool if they had done a damaged head sculpt or given, given us a faceplate with that with a little blood and, you know, when Thanos was kicking the crap out of him. I think that would go great with the broken shield. As you can see, the shield is really weathered. Um, you get your standard extra sets of hands, which I'm not going to pull out, but he's got gripping hands, fists. He's got one uh, pointing finger. I guess you want Captain America to point at the enemy. You, you can do that. Um, let me see if I can put the camera back in place here and set him back here. And you can see, um, we'll try to get him in that one quick little pose before he, you know, when he first catches the, catches Mjolnir and he's, and that's when the theater went nuts. I can't get him to stand up because I'm doing this live on camera, of course. You can get a little more dynamic with the legs if you want to, but overall, man, just really, I'm just, uh, over the moon with this thing. I think it's great. So if you have the means, I highly recommend you pick up Hot Toys 1-6 scale Captain America from Avengers Endgame. That's it. Quick little shot in and out. Wanted to give you guys a look-see at what you were looking at. One lucky winner, like I said today on uh, Dave's Dimension, will win this thing if you donate to the uh, Stream for a Cure to benefit Roswell Park uh, Cancer Institute. So that's my uh, plug for you, Dave. Hope everything's working out. I know your stream's going well. I'm going to post this video and then jump on there myself. Guys, always, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate your time. Uh, don't forget to like, comment. Hopefully you're already subscribed. And when you're out there in the stores, guys, remember, happy, happy hunting. I'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok under Gary's Grails.